Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in the Bard's Tale Remastered and Re-Snorkeled a funny, awesome and very enjoyable action RPG game developed by InXile Entertainment and Square One Games published by Xbox Game Studio and is available right now for £15.49 but, woohoo! is on Xbox Game Pass right now. So, before it one day leaves, which it eventually will, grab this right now, follow this guide, and have a great whole time while doing it. Now, we play as Badness McBada, aka The Bard. Not his real name, I don't expect. And we go on a typical adventure with all types of crap trying to kill us, ugly things, exploding chickens, steroid-infused cows, and much more. Now, originally, this game would have taken around 20 hours to complete, but thanks to our mega sexy friend, Console Commands, we can get this done in around 2 to 3 hours. Fuck yeah! So, we need to be collecting 20 tokens for an achievement and drinking out of 5 different pubs as well, but the rest are basically for completing chapters, grabbing tunes, and other small, easy, miscellaneous ones. So, I have tried going as sort of slow as I can without taking the piss, of course, so that you guys can keep up with what I'm tr doing, but try not to miss a thing. Although, then again, if you did, you could just console command your way there and do it anyway. But still, let's try to avoid the confusion, eh? <laughs> so, this bit really doesn't matter, but because we need different achievements, basically just put all your points into rhythm. I just leave everything else. It doesn't matter because we'll be using cheats to basically become God. Yeah, yeah. And again, these traits don't matter either. The talents, just choose literally whatever you want. It does not matter by a ting. So then, finally, now we can begin. Uh, the Drunken Rat's always a good name for a pub. <laughs> but, oh, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it, don't say it. Well, hey, today's! Oh, damn it, I said it, I'm sorry. But the actual first thing of what we're going to be doing is a number of cheats we're going to be putting in, which at the time of this recording does not affect any of the achievements, so by all means, put them in. So feel free to copy the cheats I do with the codes that I have stuck up on the screen. Make sure to do them all to make this game easier than squeezing your own nipple. And of course, when you input the code, it'll come up on screen with what comes on. And it will, the cheats will not go away unless you input the same code. So even if you, um, you know, piss off for five minutes or turn the Xbox off or anything like that, the cheats will still remain. So you don't have to keep inputting them every time you play the game. So you'll have to do this money cheat five times for, again, a couple of achievements later on. Um, obviously, I'm not showing you all of the five times because, well, that just takes the piss, doesn't it? Why do I keep saying takes the piss so much? Anyway, once we've got all the uh, cheats done, now we can just begin the game. And we'll sort of be following the story first of all. Again, it's uh, with the left stick to move. If you push the right stick uh, up and down, that means you can um, basically zoom in and out of the screen. And then... See the minimap in the top right hand corner? If you want to make that bigger, you click in the right stick and it'll sort of come up in your face. <laughs> come up in your face. Sorry, we're already there. Yes, we are already there. So it's the A button then to attack. Uh, the game does not auto save, but we can save with the help of this deliciously looking floating random book, which it's placed in many, many places around the game. Um, which again is always handy for us, but that's the only way that you can save the game. Now it's worth doing it quite a number of times. Uh, I've heard other people that have had the games freeze on them and they haven't saved for ages and we, seriously, you do not want that. Me too actually, so every time we see a blue dot, which is on the minimap, that basically means a buck, so we will go, we'll be saving the game quite a lot. So, basically, we've got a <laughs> giant mole dildo rat looking thing who breathes fire. Now, that is always, you know it's going to be a good game when fire rats try to destroy us. So, just go straight back upstairs. We're going to be laughed at for being on fire, which, a bit, bruh, throw us a goddamn bone, yo. <laughs> Chuck some beer on me. I'm kind of burning up. And to be honest, yeah. <laughs> 
My um, aiming skills are not the best right here, to be nice. honest. I, it, it's been a while since I played a top-down RPG-style action game. So, yeah. So, <laughs> so that's why for just a minute you'll see me getting quite used to the controls, which is weird. Anyway, once we go back downstairs, the lovely big boobied lady, <laughs> big boobied lady, she very kindly gives us a broadsword, and then some random freaking old guy just appears. Um, this is where we get our first achievement as well for getting the Thunder Spider Tomb. You can go through the tutorial if you want, um, but again, it's it's easy enough to uh, how to use all the things, and of course, I'll be letting you know anyway. So to use this one first, we need to get the spider tomb to basically kill this rat. And what you need to do then is press the right bumper, so go back to where the rat was. Press the right bumper, that brings up your song menu. Press B for elements, and then X for the spider. And what it'll do then, all you got to do is just walk up to the rat then. And you get the Rodin's Bane achievement, so... Fuck you. Yeah. Charge! All hail the bard, rat killer, and rodent bane who. Next. So that's a fairly uh, easy, decent boss fight. Uh, now, to. You don't really want this, this bloody ball of electrical crap following you, so again, just use the right bumper, B, and X button. That'll. Detune the spider? Yeah, that'll do it. That'll detune the spider. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, you can't get through a little gap because your ass is fat, I expect. Damn, that bard works out. He got them squats. Save the game. It, again, you don't have to do it every time I do, but it was more of a uh, paranoia Olympia kind of style thing going on in my head. I haven't been smoking weed, honest. I don't do that. It's the word. And there we go then. So, now... <laughs> giggity giggity goo. We get to get down and dirty with the old big titty lady. Um, up top, X, you do a snarky sort of um, sarcastic angry response. But we're always going to be pressing the B button to go for the nice response unless I ever tell you to use the X button. We only need to do sort of sarcastic angry responses a couple of times. So otherwise always we'll be picking the B button to be happy. So, thank you for the sex, my dear, but we gotta go. And, uh, that wasn't really the best surprise I ever had there, so you look very pretty, but get your penis checked out. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> let's go outside now. And that same creepy old pervert that was in the basement is now gonna be perving on us right here. So, Hooked him and cooked him. Sounds like we're in the I'm a Celebrity jungle. Again, press the B button just to be nice. You don't always have to be, but your gameplay might vary a little bit different if you keep being uh, choosing the X dickhole button. So we're going to get another achievement right here. So press the right trigger button. That will bring up our special summon menu. Press the A button. Press the X button. And that will summon Kali or Kaylee or Kalyig or if you're Irish. Can you go, go, go? I, I don't know. Sorry. Sorry to offend all the Irish there. My, my bad, seriously. And now what we're going to be doing is getting a little doggy. So turn straight around to your right. And you see this doggy with a little exclamation point on him. Press X to speak to him. And it'll get us a, an achievement. If you press the B button to be nice to him, he will follow us. And we got a little doggy. We got a little doggy. And having a little doggy is just awesome. If you press the X button, I believe he doesn't follow you, but I'm not too sure because I always want him to follow me. So again, we're just going to save the game right here. Now, I, I'll try to do my best to sort of explain where we are and where we're going. Sort of when we're outside, the maps can be slightly, potentially a little bit confusing. Again, if you want to get the mini-map bigger, just click in the right stick once. But what we're going to be doing is the other side of the pub. All we have to do right now, get your sword out, and we have to kill 30 chickens and tip over 30 cows. Just pressing the A button next to the cows will automatically tip them over. And again, with the chickens, just slice them and dice them, yo. Get KFC and uh, chicken land there. 
shipment of dirty old dead bloody chicken. Still feckin' delicious though. And again, I'm not showing you the whole thing, but I'm just uh, cutting it sort of to the very end there. So if you just leave the screen and come back, the more chickens will be alive and the cow will miraculously stand up. But when you kill enough chickens, a big sort of steroid infused super chicken is going to come and kick your ass. But of course, because we put the cheats in, he cannot hurt us at all. And we can one hit kill him. So I just done a bit of <laughs> nugget. I just done a bit of overkill there, but there we go. So now, it, again, depends on which one you've got. If you've got the tipping cows one first or the chickens. But... When you get 30 of each, again, another big steroid infused pissed off super cow is going to come and try and fudge us up. But, like I said, you can squeeze your own nipple, but it still won't be as easy as well, doing the rest of this, this game. So smash this dude up, and we are golden. And sometimes you're going to see kind of big edit jumps, but I'm still in the exact same spot. So here, all I've done is just turn it around, as you can see by the big stone. So sort of go to the left of where we're standing, but it's just north from where the bar is. So where we come up with the bar, just go straight up north. And you can always tell north because there's a big N on the minimap. That doesn't stand for nest, nest, or nouth. That stands for north, of course. But what we'll be doing in the bar is getting our first drink, and we're going to be getting... Oh, sorry, no. No, we're not going to be getting our first drink. Hold up. We're going to be getting our longbow. Sorry. I thought we were in the pub. So press X to speak to him. To get rid of any dialogue and skip it, always press the B button. Um, but all we'll be doing is grabbing the longbow. And you, again, you can grab the treasure map if you want, but there's really, really no point because we're not going for it. Um, but these are the only two weapons throughout the game that we'll be getting. We don't need to get anything else, to be honest. So happy old days. Tops of Kirkwall, the choice of silver. Excellent choice, my friend, for the longbow. Skip it. So now what we'll actually be doing is getting our first drink. So leave the store and then go directly south. So from here, sort of turn the camera left and then sort of head downwards. It, again, it can be a little bit tricky, but it's not too bad, really. So the next building is the bar, is where we were, where we slept with the older... Uh, Today, woman. But we can just ignore her now, like, you know, most men do, because all men are pigs. And then speak with the bar patron and then just order a drink. That will be one out of five for brew connoisseur. So we need to drink in five different pubs, basically. So don't worry about that guy. It's Mary that we need to speak to. My bad. My apologies. Um, hey, how's your... How's your bits? How's your penis? Good. Fantastic. Happy days. Now, you can pick anything. I just pick boobs, black ale, um, purely because you know, I like ale, and black ale sounds lovely. Um, but basically, as long as you've got the sort of ale icon next to your health bar in the top left-hand corner there, that means that th that counts. Basically, if, say, if you chose the wine and there wasn't the icon there, then it wouldn't have counted. So just be very aware of that. But now we can leave. And what we'll be going for next is a slightly tricky achievement. It's not very tricky, but it can be a bit of a pain in the nutter butters. So again, like I said, save your game if you would like. And we will be using the console commands very, very soon. But go to the house just next to the save book there. Just talk to Ogun's mother, um, Hulk. Hulk Slogan, I think we'll call her, or Hulk Ogan. I don't know, I'm really... There was going to be a class joke in there somewhere, but my I, my head's not with it. So, I'm sorry, you'll have to think of a good joke to do with Ogan. Hulk Ogan. Anyway, move on. You you do only have to speak to her once. Um, she We basically need to find her son, Ogan. Not Hulk, but Ogan. Nah, nah, nah that's not the best. But now we can actually use the console command. And the way to do that is pressing the left bumper, which gets up your weapons menu. But you've got to press the right on the D-pad at the very same time. So the left bumper and the right on the D-pad at the very same time. And then click on level. And we've got all the levels in the game, of course. We put the cheat in. So go to XM Hunting, which should be on the very bottom first. 
and this is where we're just getting a few achievements. We're going to start picking up the pace now with console commands and everything. So we need to be hunting a grouse. So the first thing first, again, after you save, if you would like and if you prefer, we need to get our newly designed longbow out. So you do that by pressing the right bumper. There it is. And then press B to get your longbow out. Now you don't actually have to aim. You can just press the A button and Badmeister, Dudemeister will automatically fire fire one in the direction of any said enemy. So to find a grouse, what we need to do is sort of back away from the dog a little bit. Our dog is going to sort of bark into the weeds right here. And then you'll see just the tiniest little brownish grouse. There was one just there, but I actually miss him there. Um, and it may take you a couple of attempts. But as soon as you see it, quickly just press the A button as quick as you can. You know, it d does take about two or three seconds to go away, but we managed to get it in the end. So that's the next achievement for us right there. Again, took that took me about five or six minutes just purely because they're so bloody small on screen. Like a, like a small old penis. <coughs> Ish. And now we're just going to be getting our first token. So, if you follow, it's basically north, the very north of the map. And the treasures are always in these tree trunks. So, always be aware of that. But this is where our first token comes from. The Findrin, whatever the hell that was, statue little thing. But make sure to grab that first token, which is basically all the way north in this little corner here. And it's not a very big map anyway, so you shouldn't have too many issues with it. But make sure to grab that before we leave. And now we are going to leave through the exit. We're going to be, again, save the game if you prefer. But now we're going to be exiting through the front gate. And we're sort of going to be coming up now to a little mini-map. And there is a trow, which is what they call the enemies. The big troll, ugly, disgusting, weenus looking things. Um, but there's one that is slightly different, and he's not trying to kill you, but he has four maps that we need to buy off him. So this is where you start off then. So try and avoid the enemies, otherwise you go into like a battleground with them, and you've got to kill three of them. He can be, this guy can be placed anywhere randomly on the map for you. For me, he's just right here. And he's a little bit smaller, and he does look a little bit different. So just go up to him and touch him. Don't touch him inappropriately though, because he will call the police. Uh, life lessons and all we've got to do now is catch him so you don't have to kill him all you got to do is just run up to him and then press the X button to speak with the trow he sounds like he wouldn't mind a bit of inappropriate touching though um, so just buy the first one the ratty old map 4600 silver dory dues and that will unlock us the first achievement. Again, we've got to do this four times. We can't buy the, the maps off him all at once. So what we'll have to do is press X to leave the area, but we stay exactly where we are, as does the trow. So he should still be in the same area. Again, because it's random, I'm not entirely sure if that always happens, but it, that's how it happened for me. Every time I left the area, he was still in the same area, so we could catch him and uh, touch him. Um... Stop saying touch him. Stop saying touch him. Naughty. Oh, you're a fast one. <laughs> <laughs> you're a fast one. <laughs> Funny. So that's it. Now we just got to buy the rest of the remaining three maps. So just do that for the until you get all the maps, and that will unlock again all the maps and all four achievements. I'll take it. A very wise choice. You're a fast one. <laughs> well, now that you've caught me, welcome to my shop. Hmm, this looks interesting. Sorry, this isn't for sale. What? You must have it, you say? Well, if you must, then I suppose I could pop. It's a smart man you are to be buying that. Ah, 
Oh, you're a fast one. <laughs> well, now that you've caught me, welcome to my shop. Hmm, I'm intrigued. Ah, you've an interest in this, have you? Well, I could be persuaded to part with it for a wee bit. Righto, chaps. Now let us pick up the pace. So let's go back into the command console uh, level mode. So again, that's uh, the left bumper and the right on the D-pad at the very same time. And then go down to NE underscore INT1. And we'll get the achievement then for completing the first chapter. So congratulations on doing the game. <laughs> So go ahead and kill Katil right here. A couple of uh, couple of swings should do it as long as he stops dodging. No there we go. So now we're going to capture him. But before we leave, make sure to loot all of the chests in his room and make sure that we've got the Crone Song, which we will unlock another achievement for anyway, and the Eagle Charm, which is the second out of twenty token. So just make sure to get the second token and the Crone Song before we leave. The Kunal Trow are lurking everywhere. They'll kill you as soon as... Right then, so once outside, what we need to do first, from where we are right now, just head to the left just a little bit until a cutscene starts. And then Katil, who of course we've just, we've got captured and just killed, or whatever. Katil, if we played the game legitimately, would now say, come and kill me, etc. So it's just a whole bit of weird, weird play stuff. Uh, going on right there, so he's gonna shout at us even though there's nobody actually there because of course we're not doing it legit because we are hardcore Don't call me a Call me a meandering moron But again, it's it's also having to figure out then sort of North east southwest or you know if you've got anything for it like never eat shredded wheat That's my personal one or no elephants suck willy. No, that's not a good one but anyway, obviously we've got north directly sort of on the map to the left, so east is obviously up. So that's where we're going to be going. Every time you see a level up, just um, put it all into rhythm, and then once everything's into rhythm, just auto-allocate. It really, really doesn't matter, to be honest. But it's just annoying that is it that it is on the screen. So all we're doing for now, then, is following... It's a quite a linear path, and we're just following all the trows until we get to... Ogun, there he is, look. Hulk Slogan. So we have found him. Uh, what we actually need to do is just uh, go to the right now, just a little bit until a cutscene starts, and then we'll have to kill a few more people. Or oh, trows. They're ugly things, not people. Prepare to die. I am Ogun, the Chosen One. Nothing will stop me from my quest to save the princess and drive the evil from this land. Have at you! And what have we? I'm just passing through, my friend, just passing through. Ah, a coward is... Next! Well, that was uh, <clears throat> that was pretty unexpected, but you already saw, you already heard it in his voice. That that's not the voice of a hero. I am Morgan. Please don't kill me. Oh, or oh, so whatever the hell his voice was. I haven't got a freaking clue what's happening here. Uh, 
<laughs> right, so, so we're just going to skip that. You can watch it if you want, but... Um, yeah, I thought we'd just skip that, but yeah. So no Ogan. Ogan's dead because, I don't know what... As Bardy McBarden has said, what the hell is he trying to rescue? There's nothing to rescue. The little stinky butthole. So anyway, now we're going to be going again south past Kittel's, um hut. And what we're going to be doing is getting our third token before we move on. But from here, um, there's a couple of uh, enemies to kill right here. But if you continue going, sort of, there's a little bit of a split path now. So if you go down the right, you'll see, like, a river um, with some other bloody trow. And he'll ask for silver to move on. We don't need to go there. We need to go to the left a little bit and then down that sort of left path. Um, it's kind of hard to explain because you can't see it on the map. But I do a bit of a big edit jump again here, so I've tried to make it less confusing. But like I said, from where we are, go to the left a little bit now, and there should be another path. And that is the path that we actually need to take. So apologies about the confusion. But like I said, if you continue going down the right path and you see the river and the guy asks you for silver to go across, do not do it. Just go back, go to the left a bit more, and then go down this path. As you can see on the map right now, it's sort of down the middle out of the three paths. So make sure to grab them, kill all the trows and everything right Yeah, And then the um, badger hide gloves, I think they are. They are in the freaking leveling up. Piss off. Piss off. And again, choose a talent because the game forces you. I mean, it would be good if you were doing this legit, but we're not, so it's annoying. So there we go. Make sure to grab the badger hide gloves then before we leave. Again, hopefully the explanation wasn't too bad and that was a bit better. But now we get up your levels. We are going to HO underscore jail one. Or, or there's no one, but it's ho jail. <laughs> we go into a ho jail. I wish a jail like that really existed. <laughs> no, I don't. Hoes are not good for your brain or your heart. So we did just get a hit, so we do actually need to kill these guys. Um, so this is more, just more confusion. So now we, obviously, originally, legitimately, so just kill these guys first. But legitimately, we would have had to have um, helped Katil escape, but obviously we've already got him. But what we need to do, there are three switches right here. So when the first guy talks, that is the one that you've got to listen to. So if he says, pull that one, just always listen to the first guy. Do not listen to the other two guys that speak after him. It's always the first guy that we've got to listen to. So, I do think that it is random, but it's very easy enough. So just you'll have to go to each switch, um, press it once. He'll either say no, not that one, or pull that one. As long as he sells, as long as he says pull that one again, the first guy, you pull it and then move on. So very, very easy enough, simple tits. What? Pull that one. Oh, I think so. Try switch one. Yes, yes. Pull that one. No, that won't help. It doesn't seem there right. you go. Pull it and let us free. Yes, that's the one. Uh, I think that's the no, one. that isn't it. That's the one. That's it. Oh, no, it isn't. Try it. No, another. the last one is lever three. Easy that was. Thank you. Thank you. Heard it already. So now that we are done with that, get up your levels and we're going to Ho Forest 2D. So Ho underscore Forest 2D. Um, by the way, if you do get that puzzle wrong, all you do is end up loads of spikes just come out and kill one of the other two guys. So, you know, by all means, if you want to watch that, you go for it, because it's pretty unexpectedly, gruesomely hilarious. But this point, all we're doing then is just follow the quest. You can just see the sort of flashing red symbol at the top 
of the minimap screen uh, screen screen so that is where your quest is kind of looks on the smaller minimap in the right hand side kind of looks like a ox head or something but that is what your quest looks like again it's a very linear path all we'll be doing is fighting some enemies back his shit up and um until we get to Banafeet. that's a ridiculous name but that's who we've got to go and <laughs> that's what we got to do and that's who we've got to talk to by the way you can actually ignore the enemies if you really want to just run straight past but I don't know, I like killing stuff, and especially if you've had a stressful day and you're playing this, then you, you can slice stuff up without going to prison. It works well. Good or what? Somehow missed the entrance the first time. That was kind of like a USB thing then, wasn't it? Try going up the first time, have to go around, and then it goes in the second time. Stupid. But there we go, we've got the experience, we've got the achievement, the heroine tune. So go back on your levels, and now we're going back to Ho Town 1D. So HO underscore Town 1D. Ho Town. Of course, it stands for Hooten. Or H Hooten? Hooten? Houghton? Whatever you're from and however you say it. Houghton. Ah, Houghton, okay. Or right, we're gonna call it Houghton from now on then. Again, just be nice to everyone until I say. Otherwise, what we're gonna be doing is going back to Hulk Ogan's mother. That's the joke and I'm sticking with it. It's awful, but I don't care. So turn the camera around and it's basically straight up from where we are now, because we've got the store to our left. <laughs> Screw you, cow! Stupid cow soul. And again, it's straight up then, so just a bit from the bar. So we'll be able to talk to Hulk Hogan's mother. This will actually get us the fourth out of 20 token, which is the rabbit's foot. I've got some bad news, I'm afraid. Your boy was slain. Murdered. By a trow. Oh no! Tell me it isn't true! I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell you, but I want you to know, the ones that killed him, I cut them down where they stood. You avenged my organ. Thanks. Boring. Move along. There's that then. Lovely jubbless. What we need to do now is go... Uh, we'll save the game right here. Again, like I said earlier, it's always worth doing just in case the game freezes on you and you don't have that far to go back. So just be wary of that. So go south, sort of behind Ogun's mother's house, to the next house. And we need to get a bug quest from Darod. 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 Darodsbroch. Eh, or something. Basically, we have to do a little quest for him now. Again, this is all relevant because it will get us an achievement. He's an old guy. He looks... Looks like he could, you know, keel over at any minute, but still. I know what it means to be hungry, and get to the good part. So yeah, all we're doing now is just following the quest marker uh, to the west. Which is basically, it was basically sort of to the left and directly in front of you until you hit Bugbear Cairn. Bugbear Cairn. 
So again, all we're doing, there, there is only one linear path that we're going to go down. There's going to be a bunch of enemies that are going to fight us, but again, they all come out of the woodwork doing stupid stuff for some reason. But all we're doing is following the linear path until we get to another big room, and this is where the next boss will happen. But again, we got that one hit KO, baby. So it's nice. So my assumption is then, um, if we were doing the game legit, this guy would be pretty difficult to kill. When somehow, I don't know how, because as we'll see, eventually. Come on, Slig. He's an old man. So somehow he would have been legitimately solid to kill, even though he's just an old man in a bugbear suit. But there we go, that's the price to pay of video games. But we are done with it, you don't have to turn the quest in, you can if you want, but it literally, it's just not necessary, you really don't have to. You're just going to get a bit of silver, which we've got plenty of, so we'll go back to the levels. And now we are going to FT Tower, and uh, let's just take a little look here, FT Tower 1D. There it is, so FT Tower 1D, and that will unlock us the Chapter 4 achievement for finishing chapter 4. Uh, so yes, we're not doing this in order. We're doing it in the best order that we can to get all of the achievements. But, you know, we get them all anyway, so we're happy enough. So what we need to do now, we need to sort of head southwest down the path until we reach a chest, and that will basically contain the Explorer song. Remember, a lot of chests look like tree trunks, so open that bad boy up. That gives us the Explorer song and the achievement. And now we'll go back into our console command levels. And this time we're going into FT underscore top 1D. That's FT underscore top 1D. By the way, um, if you go into your console command levels and it doesn't work, press the left bumper to get rid of the sort of weapon screen then it should work. So you probably figured it out by now, and I should have told you earlier, so I'm really sorry. <laughs> My bad. Um, but we need to now kill off Hermes, Hernie Conrad, and he's, again, he would have been a tough... My assumption is he would have been another tough battle, but oh, cheats. They are sexy. And that doesn't give us an achievement, but... What we do actually get is his summon. So now we can actually use that to unlock the summon Hernie's Comrade achievement. And to do that then, again, press the right trigger when all the um, when everything's done and dusted. Hernie Comrade. 
500, happy days. Right, so right trigger, B, and then X. And then that will unlock the Summon Herney achievement. And we're not going to be using the console command levels just yet. We'll actually be exiting to the third floor, which is the sort of tree thing to the left of us right there. That's that's stairs, apparently. I, I don't know, RPGs and stuff, yo. Uh, but that will actually unlock us the second chapter achievement for finishing that. So now, console command, and it is FT Tower 3D. So FT underscore Tower 3D. And uh, what we actually need to do here is grab our fifth token. That will unlock us uh, the token starter kit for collecting five tokens. So from here, go into the small sort of dead end to the east, and it's basically directly in front of us from where we start. Kill these weird dildo tree looking things. And try to do it with a sword, because doing it with your fist just. You can't fist dildos or trees. I've tried. It's hard. Very hard. Impossible even. <laughs> but, but there is a treasure chest. Grab the silver torque out of it. God, what the freaking hell am I on about? But then we are golden. So now we'll be getting our console commands back out. This time we're going to MT underscore top one. So that's MT underscore top one. And that will basically unlock us the finish chapter 6 achievement and then we'll also need to kill the boss here as well that'll get us another achievement and then we need to summon Lou his name is <laughs> I mean it, he doesn't look like a Lou to be honest he looks more, more like an Eddie or a Chief Wiggum Cut the crap, lady. What gives with all the... And more pressures were soon to come. Unbeknownst to the bar... Next. The stronger the bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. So before we leave, exit, and then click RT, Y, and then X. Right trigger, Y and X, and that'll unlock the next achievement. That is for summoning uh, Lou, Eddie, or Chief Wiggum, whatever name you prefer to call him. He's a big dude, though. He's a big, steroid diffused dude. So... Next up then, we can get out of here now, so we're going to be teleporting our way to KI underscore bar 1. So that's KI underscore bar 1. And then what we can do here, we'll already end up in the <laughs> next pub. So now we can buy a beer from the bartender for the second out of five brew connoisseur. So what'll it be? What about this one? Ah, the ale. Give me one of those. Ah, refreshing. There's another dude that looks like he's gonna keel over, but make sure you got the ale icon again next to your health bar. That means that you've done it right. And now we'll be getting the fairy light tune, but it's kind of a complicated-ish way to do this. We need to speak to four boobs. B-O-D-B's. Bodbs. So we'll actually need to be going to the left from where we exited the bar. So go to the left as soon as you exit the bar, not to the right. Apologies for that. And then we'll just be following the quest icon. 
and this is where we'll f uh, speak to the first bodb or the bob and what we need to do here we actually need to be snarky with him sarcastic and pissed off with him so remember to press all the time with these guys press the x button do not be nice to him press the x button for every single one of these and every single conversation and we will get it that way I don't know if they still give it to you if you'd be nice, but for, you know, saving a bit of time's sake, you just go ahead and press the X button. Now, all we're doing is following this bob until he gets to his mate. Then we'll have another conversation with him. Press X all the way through until they get to four. Then you just follow the four until we get to the next point. They do a little dance, bend down, touch toes, and just glad to the center of the dance floor. Eminem, yeah. I'm, I am going to stop rapping, though, because I sound like a douche. But, yeah, so just until you get to the four, <laughs> follow these guys. They're going to do a little dance, and that is where we unlock the fairy light tune achievement. And I'll be on me ma Next. I'm almost afraid to ask this. Your worst nightmare, if you don't give me what I want. Unless you wish to be in a dream state permanently, you will give- Get to the good part! Why wasn't I invited to the party? Get to the good part! La 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 Once you're inside, work your Really not sure what the hell that dance was, but there we go, we've got it. And now uh to get this fairy light tune you press the right bumper, the X and the Y button, and that will give us light in dark places, which comes in handy so we don't poop our pants in the dark literally and metaphorically of course so from the uh, bobs that are directly in front of us we basically need to be going east so from where we are right now we need to be going to the right if we're looking at it from this angle yes so go to the right there's basically two sort of storage rooms that we can go in um, this one I went in first it literally makes no difference there's one to the left of this little storage room as well but what we get in here in this one is the bodyguard tune so smash a couple of chests out and you will get the bodyguard tune Now we can actually exit out of here, and when we do, of course, remember to go to the left. Go to the left, and that is where we find the other storage room. But again, it all depends on sort of which way you sort of come out, to be honest. So it's <laughs> to the left, to the next storage room, and this is where we get our sixth out of 20 uh, tokens, and that is for finding the foul stone, I believe, which it is. So it's in a chest to the right. There it is, look. So that's where we find the foul stone. So again, make sure to grab that. If you want to have a check of your tokens, make sure you're keeping up with me. Just press the select button and go down to tokens. And make sure you've got 6 out of 20. Now we'll go into the console commands. Now we're going to HP underscore forest 1D. That's HP forest 1D. 
And this is basically, uh, we get an achievement for finishing chapter 3, but what this is now is kind of one of the most long-winded sections of the entire game. Takes roughly around ten minutes to complete this next section. It's not a pain of it. It's not a pain in the ass or anything. It is quite fun, and you know, you know me with pains in the asses. Actually, you don't. I shouldn't have told you that. Ignore that, then, please. Uh, speak with a trow. <laughs> speak with a trow first. His name is Fnaf. Snarf, snarf. What the hell is that off? What is Fnaf, Fnaf off? Snarf, snarf. Anyway, we need to do some fighting. So fight around the world. Am I good or what? And when you kill them all, the gate opens, turn immediately to your right, and we can speak with Mel. Now, this son of a bitch took me about 10 minutes to find. Literally, I kept going in, I looked around, and for some reason kept missing this bald-headed son of a tit. But, what you need to do, press the left trigger, press the B button to get your bow out, and what you need to do, again, you just press the A button, you can't aim. Um, Bardy McBardness does it all for us. And with that, Mel sort of just jumps into the electrical fence, <laughs> the electrical force field, so... Hey, happy days for us, you know, that's... I mean, we could have literally, probably, just climbed on one of the stones and got up ourselves, but there we go, that's it's video game logic, and it doesn't always happen. Now, this, like I said, this section is going to take around 10 minutes, purely because there's a lot of these force fields to go through, um, but when we get to the end, we do end up fighting FNAF. So again, it's only a, it's only a linear path, so just follow the video and enjoy. And by the way, I know where FNAF FNAF is off. It's actually Snarf Snarf off the Imagination Land episode from South Park. Hilarious, and I love it. <laughs> Sorry, that was pointless telling you that. I didn't need to tell you that, but... Love you guys. Is it just me? Or does it smell like bacon around here? Boring. Move along. Look out! It's the trap! Oh, you really should try this! That still cracks me up. Look out! It's the cow! Oh, 
Oh, you really should try this. Look out! It's the show! Oh, you really should try this. Look out! It's the show! Just gonna kill us a fresh all. wound. Do something, Bard. We got okay. Here we go again. The stronger the bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. Allows the bard to fight with a dirk in one hand and a sword in the other. It's the show! Okay, here we go again! Look out! It's the chow! Oh, you really should try this! Look out! It's the chow! Should try this. Look out! It's the chow! They're gonna kill us all! Okay, here we go again! Stay down! Is it my turn or yours?
So yeah, that bit took a long time. But again, all you have to do with Snarf, Fnarf, uh, keep your bow out and just shoot him once, job's done. By the way, I do apologize if I if my voice is annoying and that I've spoken quite a lot through the video. It's just because it's one of those videos that kind of needs a bit of a lot of explanation in terms of, you know, what to do and how to get these certain achievements quickly, etc. So that's the only reason why I've been talking quite a lot more but hopefully you had a nice sort of <laughs> five to six minutes without my voice there which is nice and you see why you need to kill this son of a hoe with a long bow and I'm a rhymist and I didn't notice it de oh, damn it Our begrudgingly brave but bedraggled bard set out to return to the pleasingly pert Princess Calais. I've had just about enough of these atrocious... <laughs> Boring. Move along. And now let's happily walk back down to the gate where we first entered and then Mel will give us the mercenary tune and that'll give us said yet another mercenary tune. Achievement. There you are. I've been wondering where you ran off to. You did it! You, you, you've made it farther than... The things I do for last. I don't know why I didn't get a dog sooner. And then from here, we can go back into our debug menu, into the levels, and then go to IT underscore top, and that will unlock us chapter 12. Flying. You know not what you're getting yourself into. Skip it. So, all we have to do then is kill Manan, or Manananans, or Manan's Nan, whatever the hell he was called. Giant Groot. Giant Groot's Nan. Whatever his name was, we kill him. And basically what we can do now is, uh, we can take a little, sort of Lord of the Rings style, falcon-esque bird trip. Um, so... Yeah, so as soon as we can do that, there it is, look, the owl, f fiery owl looking thing. Just go back to Houghton, or Houghton, or Houghton, or oh, it looks like a stingray by the way. But that's where we're going to head back to, um, Houghton, just because it's safer and there's no enemies that can kick your ass. Nothing can kick our ass anyway, but just fly back to Houghton, and then we're going to summon Manan's Nan. So to summon my nan, press right trigger, X and X, and that will... <laughs> my nan's looking a bit uh, deadlier than usual, and a bit more pissed off. Uh, no, it's about the same actually, not about the same. So, <laughs> but that one is that. Then next up, what we're going to do is go back into our level debug menu and go to Fi Town 2. So that's F-I underscore Town 2. As soon as we piss around with all the uh, stats and everything and leveling up again. And 
I said Houghton was safer. It's actually not. We're actually being overrun by zombies or something. We've missed quite a bit in the game doing this, but it's all good. So again, it's FI underscore town 2, and that'll unlock chapter 8 for us. And then we've got a few things to do. Meow. So welcome to Viking Land, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, that was that was pretty pathetic. But it's all good. So first off, go left or north, and we're gonna enter the pub, Trowie's pub, and we're gonna get another drink of beanie. That'll give us the third or the fifth brew connoisseur. Don't worry about these Viking dudes, they are not going to do anything to you for now. With the giant swords and small ass penises. Boring. Move along. What about this one? One of the drinks is nice. I hope you choke on it. That hits the spot. Now we need to get our rat out. <laughs> <We -hee. laughs> so that's right bumper, X and X. And what that'll do is really shit up one of these Vikings. But in return for you not telling anyone that he screamed like a little bitch, he will give you the 7th out of 20 tokens, and that is the Mantle of Ossian. That should be 7 out of 20. Alright, alright, steady on. The big scary rat is gone now. Er, uh, thanks, Bard. I, um, uh, I'm not sure what happened there. I, uh, hey, uh, take this and, and don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? Not bad. My lips are sealed. So yeah, if you always just want to have a little double check just to make sure that we are on the same page right here, the token list, if you press select, the token list there is on the bottom. You got the two, nine, we should be on, and seven tokens. So now directly from where we are, just head directly down, south, just turn the camera around, go straight down, and what we're going to see is two big giant vikings outside an armory. There's bits of... Bits of debris and things in the middle. We don't need to be worrying about that yet. And it's just to the right. You don't, know, you don't need to go through there, but... Oh, actually, we might do. Either way, the armory is coming up just on the right now. So what we need to do is just kill these guards and then kill the guards inside to get the Bruni's Cloak, and that is the 8 out of 20 tokens. So go on, kids. Kick some ass. We have a challenge! Hello? Carl? Are you guys all right? Snorri, that you? Hey, open up, I bought some beer. Beer? Well, why didn't you say something sooner? Where's the beer? Skip it. <laughs> And I suppose with it being an armory, we get a shitload of weapons and things as well, rather than just uh, the token. So that's all good. So go straight ahead now, talk to the old man, which he is directly in front of you. Well, I suppose after, after you stop being bummed by Mr. Viking. Ayah. 
stop. All stand back or something. I just realized, doesn't the bard sound like a young Michael King? Yes. Yes, hilarious. But anyway, you can just sod him off. Um, we need to... Don't worry about these guys. They're all good. They're actually with you. Uh, talk to the woman, though. That'll get us Finn's loot again after you level up. It's just a pain in the ass. Again, if you were doing this legit, it wouldn't be a pain in the ass. It would be very handy. But there we go. So we'll talk to her, get Finn's loot, and then we're going to need to head directly north once again. So as soon as you get out of here... Now, we've got a lot of Vikings to fight. Again, for now, we can just run past them. But I suppose if we were doing this game completely legit, this would be pretty tricky, I reckon. Even with these three guys, because they get pretty fudged up pretty quickly, to be honest. But, like I said, we are just heading north and we are going into Silkbeard's headquarters. So, it's literally just next to the pub. Not, not too far from the pub. Just the right side of it. Still be its headquarters and we'll find a couple of chests. Fight your way through. Do this! So inside old Silkbeard uh, quarters, we're going to find the Rogue Tune and the Gouger Tune. And um, we'll get achievements for both, so make sure to get both achievements before we head on. Otherwise, you'll have to you'll have to come back here and it'll take about 30 seconds extra. And, oh, man, what an inconvenience. But next, we are going to be heading to, once we've done that, D-O underscore I-N-T-1. Doint1. Doonby, Doonby, Doonby. But that unlocks chapter 7 for us. And we are also already inside the pub. Nice and safe in everyone's favourite place. Except for recovering alcoholics. Probably not their favourite place. Uh, go ahead, speak to the bartender. Grab a drink. And that is brew connoisseur. Four out of five. How about one of these? Ah. I'll have one of those then. That hits the spot. We'll see you next time. So don't get ahead of yourself and skip, skip, skip to Malou. We need, before we head out, we need to get out three companions. So that can be the rat, the spider, the whatever the hell I just got out, the um, rat, bird, rat turd, whatever they are. But anyway, we, we need to get those three companions out. Someone need a light. And then once you have three out, talk to this guy, just close to the curtains and close to the exit there, speak with the crier, enter the talent show, and we'll get an achievement for entering said talent show. We actually don't have to do anything, we just play a crappy guitar and... It's really bad, or really bad, huh, as posh English people would say. Oh, I'm very bad. Huh. But, nah, mm. anyway. So, <laughs> we don't have to do anything, but after winning we will receive the Boots of Quickening, which is the ninth, should be the ninth out of 20 tokens, and then we can despawn all the companions and then exit. Heavy gloves made from the hide of a badger that imparted some of the animal's strength and ferocity into the wearer. Well, well. 
so be prepared for a little fight when we get out of here. Again, we're doing this game legit. This can be quite tricky. They've got bloody sheaths, for God's sake. Man, where the hell are you getting sheaths from? Only in video games can you just walk around with a sheath and not get bummed for it. If this was today, they'd be getting robbed. Don't even care. You'd have those 16-year-old little chavs like, Oh, come on in, boys. Let's do this. And then they'd, you know, rob them and stuff. But anyway, we are going to be going southeast now, and we're going to enter the kirk, or the church, and we need to find a priest. It's very easy, because he's right in the middle of the altar, so it's not like we have to play a game of hide-and-seek. Sorry, just another little chav thing. Oh, show us your tits, love. I had that more than I care to uh, um, realise when I was younger, for some reason. They're weird. Weird, cre weird creatures. Anyway, so we found the kirk, the church, it's right basically just smack bang in the middle right there. And now all we actually have to do is spam the X button to talk to the priest, move over to large gift and press A. Now what you have to do is keep doing this basically until you donate 20,000 silvers. Now you're going to be, um, you'll have like loads of artwork unlocked and upgrades and things like that when you do this. But... Since the large gift is only about 500 uh, silver or something, it's going to take at least around 10 minutes to do this. So 525 silver. Yeah, so just keep spamming the X button, move large gift, and keep donating until you get the Stairway to Heaven achievement unlocked for us. I could use a bit of goodwill. Boring. Move along. Welcome to Doonby. I could use a bit of goodwill. You've been good with your daughter. Welcome to Doonby. I could use a bit of goodwill. Skip it. Oh, seriously, thank God that was done. Not because it was a bit of a, t you know, 10 minute grind, it's because if I heard Welcome to Dune Me one more time, I was going to flip the proverbial shit. So thankfully that bit's done, and now what we need to do is actually go left, but I'm just going to make a save right up here. There is a little save point, so that's the reason why I've gone right, but we actually need to go left, and we need to go towards the quest marker now. Um, and we're basically going to get the Brew Connoisseur, the five, the fifth out of five Brew Connoisseur for drinking in all five different pubs throughout the game. And that is where we're just heading. So, again, you're going to come up to a group of chavy little sheath-wielding enemies. So you can either just run past or you can fight them. It's up to you. I don't run your life. Or do I? Am I part of the government? <laughs> Brothers, the bard is over here. No, no, I'm not. There he is, brothers! Kill him! So again, the paths, you know, they are pretty linear in this game. There's, there's not much, you know, there's no way you can really uh, get lost to. The maps are not entirely big, but of course it can be slightly confusing. So enter the Aiken drum right here. Like I said, go to the bartender, grab a drink, and this should be the fifth out of fifth. If you haven't got the fifth out of fifth, of course, you can just... Um, I've got timestamps in the video anyway, uh, for the video, sorry, in the comments section, so you can just have a quick look through. If there's one you're missing, you can easily just um, nip down there and grab that, if you haven't got it at this point. Ah, refreshing. Come again! So, from this point then, we are done with this area, so now go to do underscore dungeon one, so do dungeon one. And we're going to be staying in Doombie for quite a while. And all, we, all we're doing in this bit is traveling to the southernmost room to find a chest which contains the Brute Song. So again, if you're sort of wondering 
where to go if you can't follow me remember to just click in the right stick and that'll make the mini map a bigger map right in the middle of the screen so you have a bit more of an idea of where you're going but of course if i'd done that that would have been way too distracting so there's new enemies in here there's like these uh, scorpion dog weird ass looking things there's also zombies now which we also have to take care of so again do what you want if you want to nip through these zombies look pretty badass actually to be fair Su uh, pulling you in with their little sucker wiener thing uh, but yes just go exactly where i go to go into the southernmost room and just getting a uh, the brute tune So these are what the, the dungeons are basically going to be like. So, you know, whether we need a token or whether we need to grab something for the story, it's basically walk to the other end and um, kill a whole bunch of shit. Nice. But there we go. So that is the Brute Tomb. Now open up your debug menu level. Now we're going to MP underscore Tomb 2. The MP Tomb 2. Not the first one, but the second one. Happy days. And that will also unlock us the next chapter achievement for finishing chapter 5. And now all we've got to do at this point is just walk forward and then inspect the undead viking twice. So inspect him once and then get your inspection -y inspection us out and inspect him again. And then he's going to wake up and then what we need to do with this bit of conversation we need to be very snarky and sarcastic with him. So we need to be pressing the X button. So talk to him again here. Hurraf, hurrafen. Snarf, snarf, hurrafen. But again, press the X button here to be sarcastically angry with him. And again, just keep pressing X as many times as needed. That only works if you can make good on it. You. I may not be able to beat you, but I can make what. Ah, oh, call yourself a Viking. I bet you couldn't arm a trowel. Buzz. So now, my good sir, you might be wondering what we have to do here. And the answer is absolutely nothing at all. So Harafin basically wants to show that he's still got it. So we just leave him do his tang until he gets... I think it was about 23, 24 kills, and then a cutscene appeared. It might be a little bit more for you, it might be a little bit less, but literally we don't have to do anything until Harafin gets his kills. And the cutscene appears. Of course, if we again, if we were doing this legit, it might be a bit of a tricky son of a bitch just to keep on <laughs> trying to hide and fight and run away, but there you go, that's all we have to do. So Harafin has to do that. And then when he does that, that's how we get the elemental song and the elemental tune achievement. Ah, I'm glad that business is over with. Now, about that keystone. Ah, I knew you... Next up then, get into your debug menu level again, and we're going to MP Tomb 1 this time. And we've got quite a little bit of exploring to do in this tomb. The bard awoke in a strange, darkened room. Not first things first then, right bumper, 
B and A. That will get out the elemental. He's basically going to be the fiery dude. So that's right bumper B and A. And yeah, so this guy's on fire. So that's pretty banging. You know, he looks pretty hot. <laughs> and I look pretty cute. Meh, anyway. Now we need to travel south. And we need to melt the ice wall to free Dolan. So just basically run into it and our fiery friend will trap him. Again, there's only one path to go down here for a minute. Get to the good part. The bard will automatically bash with his shield after blocking, stunning his enemy. So when we get back to the main big room where we started, we need to go west, which from here is going to be left. So remember, it's N-E-S-W, never eat shredded wheat. Um, there is going to be a bunch of traps down here, but of course, <laughs> like that shit me up, generally shit me up the first time. Um, so this is... A sort of linear path for now and then it's going to be two ways we can go either left or right but we're going to be taking the left uh, split path first eventually we're going to be going there we go good lad son good lad oh I hunger too I'm always bloody hungry uh, but <laughs> we are nipping into this sort of left area because what we're going to be grabbing is the Ravenstone. We need that for story-related progression. Again, just ignore all the traps, get into the big room, and then sort of in the center of it is going to be the Ravenstone. The Bard found a somewhat recently abandoned camp, and as he was wont to... Now, just go straight back up, but this time we'll be going basically straight, so we're taking the right path. So rather than go right and end up back in the main room, we just go straight here, and we will get our ten, our tenth, sorry, out of twenty tokens, which is the golden coronet, and that should unlock us the token collection achievement as well. Heard it already. Right then, so we got that. Now we need to head back to the main room. So remember to take a left. There it is. That is the one. Actually, no, this is not the one. Sorry. This is actually us... Uh, <laughs> Um, being trapped and being fudged up by Vikings, but we need to go back to the main room area and this time what we'll be doing is taking It says the east passage, but it's basically where we exit this particular area It's straight in front. It's a path that is straight in front of us And again, all we need to do is follow it around head to the quest marker and then a cutscene will trigger Dolan's gonna leave and Gower's basically going to show up, a Trow named Gower, sorry, he's going to show up, give us the badge of wind, which would be the 11th out of 20th one, and then we are done in this area. Hunger. 
I never thought I'd make it out of there alive, and I owe it all to you. Yes, you do. The bard journeyed through the tomb of the undead Jarl. Speak of the devil. Hi, it's me. And must I remind you of me, Gish? Don't get your knickers in a bunch. And so, having broken the... Right, so we are done with the area now. So what we can do is go back into level debug menu and go to GR underscore dungeon one. That's GR dungeon one. That will unlock chapter nine for us. And from here, where we need to go, there's a couple of portals that we're going to be using now. So the first one that we need to use is the Skull Portal. So again, you can save if you would like. I think there is a book coming up. Yes, there is. It was just, <laughs> just in front of us there, so we can save. Basically, in the next room, there's a bunch of portals. Make sure to choose the Skull Portal. So again, we've got just kind of a linear path at the moment. Again, just go through the zombies and traps if you want. Again, it'll save probably just a couple of seconds here and there. But just keep traveling up at the moment. Again, there's only really one way that we can go. And when we're here, now we can get out the Explorer. Get out our Explorer. Right bumper, X and A. And what he what he can do is find secret hidden doors for us, and he can deactivate traps for us as well. I mean, fair do to the dude. That is some pretty bowsy stuff. But you can get up now if you want. We're all good. Oh, <laughs> he just got fudged up. But directly in front of us, he knocks open this wall. And in there we have... The 12th out of to uh, 20 tokens, the Fey Locket. So there is that one. And now we need to exit through the tree portal. So there should be a portal here with a picture of a tree on it. And it also says press X to enter the tree portal. Um, <laughs> so that's what we need to do. But now we will con we'll just continue again along this linear path until a cutscene happens with a crap load of zombie spawns. And this ain't no cod. This is actual hard work. Oh, it would have been again if it was legitimate, but there we go. Skip it. I forgot they were dancing. I don't know why there was a crap load of zombie dances there. But that's what we got and that's what we enjoyed. So now, <laughs> after you enjoy the show, now we need to enter the moon portal. So again, up the path, just destroy everything, what you can, and then enter the moon portal. Simply light the torches around the room and get to the good part. Yeah, well, cheers for crapping us up there, Scully Skellington, McSkullface douchebag. But all we have to do, very easy this bit, is just light up the torches.
torches and then we will get a little surprise and it's a good surprise because if you haven't noticed something by now I'll, I'll, I'll tell you when we uh, when the surprise happens okay here it comes There you are, boy. I missed you, buddy. And look at you now. A ghost dog. The bard was overjoyed to be reunited with his... Hey, we got a little doggy back. So, somewhere along the line, our doggy had a little death... Uh, put upon it. We also get the enchantment tune. By the way, before you enter a portal, just m make sure to open the chest in here. And that will get us token 13 out of 20 for um, Belt of the Oak. And now we're going to make sure to enter the Sun Portal. The Sun Portal should be on the left-hand side, very left. And that is what we are doing. And then as soon as we get in here, in the middle of this massively large room, is a chest that contains the Behemoth song. So again, save if you want. There's little shadows or something. Try not to kill your dog, even though he's a ghost dog, so he can't die. Uh, kill the shadows things, they're a bit annoying. Save it, and then in the next room is a, like I said, large chest that contains the Behemoth song. So yeah, we got our little doggy back. Uh, so he did die somewhere, which is a goddamn shame and a goddamn bit of unluckiness. I don't know what happened. But remember when we first got the dog, if you were nasty to him, if you were nasty to him, you would have actually have had to have fought another boss. Um, I forget which one, I'm afraid. But you would have had another boss fight instead of getting our doggy back. So it pays to be nice. And hey, screw you, zombie. Hit my dog, you son of a bitch. But we should have also, like I said, got two achievements, the Enchantress tune and the Behemoth tune. Once we get both of those, teleport now to ST underscore town 2. And that will give us the chapter 10 finishing achievement. And we are basically, at the moment, we are outside now. So we are, get, we are getting close to the end now. We're about 25 minutes away from the end. Granny! Come on, Granny! So now we've got, like, exploding cows and steroid-infused chickens again. Or the other way around, whatever. Steroid-infused chickens, cows, whatever. Anyway, there is a token, another chest, right in the sort of right-hand corner right here. There's only one way again to go on this path. But before heading left, make sure to go into the right-hand side of this corner. As you see the tree stump, that is where we get our 14th out of 20 tokens. And I'm only killing these because they're bloody annoying and they don't actually let you pass. So that's a four-leaf clover then, that's 14 out of 20. We just need to get one more in this area, and then again we can move on. Heavy gloves made from... Again, there's only really one way to go on the path, but as soon as you get to this sort of middle area, stick to the left-hand path, and we will see right now another tree stump, and that will have a 15th token in it. On the right-hand side is like a burnt-out house, so if you go to the right-hand side and see the burnt-out house, just go, come up here to the left, you get your golden thistle ring, and that is huh, all good with us. So what we have to do now is teleport to MT underscore tower two. Now, there was a bit of an edit jump there. That's because I uh, completely done the wrong one. 
But basically, we need to find our way now to Mountain Tower level 2. But we can't actually go there straight away because there are gates that are locked in front of us. So what we have to do is basically follow this whole path um, and just basically get to the end. So with this one, I actually put the minimap on because it's quite a... It is quite a long way away. Well, a long way away. It's not that far. But to get your light out, sorry, you have to click the um, right bumper X and Y. And that is to summon the light fairy so you can actually see where you're going. But as you'll be able to see, just, just sort of at the top of the map right there, that's where we need to get to the sort of flashing symbol. That is where, how we get to Mountain Tower level 2. And we actually need to... to um, unlock the gates. So if we go straight to tower 2L, they will be locked and we can't progress. So that is why we are having to do this. But it is, it will take again around five minutes or so. Get to the good part. Now teach you to make light of me. Please, my last. Isn't there any way we can work? Boring. Move along. So, as annoying as that bit was, all you have to do is summon your rat. So, get your rat out again. Sadly, the ladies won't get their rat out for you. No matter how charming and gorgeous we are, they do not like rats. So, they're gonna. <laughs> well, they're gone. They're gonna run. They actually open the lever for us now. So, that now enables all the gates on this and the next level anyway, to be open. So, now we can head on upstairs. Uh, but actually, where we do need to go is MT Tower 2L. That is exactly where we need to go. MT Tower 2L. Uh, make sure to... Uh, there's enemies that are going to spawn straight away, so just whack these dudes up and there's going to be another couple of enemies. And then all we have to do is basically, again, follow the linear path until you see an opening on the left. And that is where we get the 16th out of 20th token for the Silver Horseshoe. 
We triumph! Okay then, so now we are nearly there with the tokens, we're going to be grabbing the rest of them now, so go to XM Dungeon 2, XM Dungeon 2, and then we need to get out our ex little explorer buddy again, using the right bumper, X, and then the A button, and uh, what he's going to do is obviously find us and uh, deactivate a couple of traps for us, even though they can nay hurt us, because we are king, we are massive! But he is going to find a secret trap door for us. So just head on up again. It's only a sort of linear pathway. But then sort of hug the right hand side wall here. And they're fairly obvious anyway, the secret doors. But keep sticking with the right hand side wall. And then you you can see the obvious secret door. There it is. Um, he'd actually already opened it for me. I had to edit it out and come back into it. But that is where the secret door is. And that is where he will open it up for you. And that we get the 17th, like I said, out of 20th token, which is the amulet of Lear. Liar. Liar amulet. So next we can go to XM Dungeon 3. So that is where we're off next. And then with this one, we actually need to head east. So again, we need to have the Explorer summoned. So if you haven't got him, um, it, uh, the Explorer up, it's again R, B, X, and A. But we need to head east until we get to another large room. This one is, again, kind of a linear path. But um, I will uh, tell you what to do when we get to it now. I found something. So again, that one was fairly obvious. Now we can uh, transport our ass to XM Dungeon 4. This time we need to summon the Light Fairy because it gets a little dark and it gets a little scurry. And again, that's R, B, X, and Y. And again, what we'll need to do, again, just follow the path. It's another sort of linear path, but just keep following it. And, we, and this is where we'll get a 19th out of 20th token, the White Buck of... Hergus, you'll get a taste of my medicine. I smell a trap. I smell a trap. Ha! Now that was enjoyable. See, you'll get a taste of my medicine. I smell a trap. I tell you how much 
much I hope that hurt. <sighs> Must stop. Trap! I smell a trap. So that one was a bit of a long old slog, wasn't it? But now we can go to XM Dungeon 5 to get our 20th and final token, which will unlock the achievement. Now again, this is kind of a linear path. We need to get the Explorer out, so that's R, B, uh, X, and then A. And again, like I said, so we'll be going... We need to move into the very large room. Um, but we have to make sure that we before we can open the secret door... We actually have to deal, the explorer has to deal with some of the traps. Now, I don't know how many traps he has to deal with, but it took about two or three for him to jump at the traps before he actually wanted to open the secret door for us. Weirdo. You got a problem, laddie. I smell a trap! I smell a trap! So yeah, fairly straightforward. This is where the secret door is, but like I said, uh, the explorer will not want to open it for us until he deals with the traps. So sort of go to the right hand side traps, let him have his fun, let him for some reason weirdly want to jump on the spikes um, two or three times and then just sort of, after he does it two or three times, just go back to the secret door and then hope that he actually wants to help you out this time instead of being a <sighs> joik off. <sighs> Jerk off! Stop! Trap! I smell a trap! <sighs> I found something! Doesn't feel good, does he, young man? So then that is more exploding sheep for the Welsh to have sex with. I got in there before the English say the joke. And then sort of stick to the west, uh, sort of west ham, uh, west ham, west side room to the right. And you can see the chest right there. Congratulations, that is the 20th out of 20 tokens. Finally, Cormac's chalice, so now you should get this. Uh, again, if you haven't got it. Um, there, again, there'll be a uh, timestamp in the comments section with all 20 tokens, so you should be able to nip to whatever that you need. But now we're going to go to do underscore int2, so do int2, and now we've basically only got, we've got one more quest for the last song, and then we've just got to kill the last boss, and then we are finally done with the freaking game. So what we have to do then is go to a few different houses and town and talk to people. So it's actually very easy. Uh, we just got to go sort of back and forth and that is that. So 
All we need to do then is exit out of the house, obviously, because otherwise we're not going to get there. And then what we need to do, we need to head... Um, we don't need to go southwest, so what we're going to do is go to the left. Going, going southwest to the right is actually for something completely different, so don't go there. So just follow the quest icon for now. This is my home. What do you want? The Fox Brothers sent me. I think you... They owe you? What kind of nonsense is this? I'm afraid it's true. Wait a mo... Skip it. Look here, you melodious miscreants. Donan, don't owe you a thing. Then he is a liar. I tell you what. You want this song? We have a silver frog that was taken from us by Katir and hidden under her bed. Bring that to us. No tricks now. <laughs> get to the good part. So to actually get the final song that we need, we need to head out. Sadly, these douchebags don't give it to us, so we need to head to the left very uh, trickily. So go ahead, go left. And what we need to do is go to the path that is straight ahead of us on the sort of right. So go to the right, not straight up where I was going, apologies for that. And then we hit the house on the left. And this is now where we get the uh, the achievement, we've just got to do a, a little bit of transportation, kill the bosses, jobs are good and honey. So you're interested in my auntie? I'm just here to get back. Heard it already. From now on you, you best be careful about who you befriend around here. Look here, you bleeding idiots. And I'm over the tree or I'll curate a both of The stronger the bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. God damn those stupid French son of a bitches took a long time. Anyway, we've done with that now. Transport your ass to FM Mines 3. That's going to unlock Chapter 11, Stromness. And then we don't have to do anything here. We now just have to teleport to DT Tower 1. That's going to unlock uh, Chapter 13 for us. So DT Tower 1. And then all we've got to do is teleport to one more place. 
And then that is the game done. Old school, baby. Come on. Oh, man, I don't, I don't want to hear the tune. Come on, get on with it. Get on with it, asshole. Okay, there we go. So now we're good. So teleport now to do underscore Cali one. Do Cali one. Hmm, do Cali, huh? Yeah, I'll do Cali. Why not? Any, anything's good when we've had a drink. Kill Callie. You're going to have to use the bow for this one. She transports her ass like a piece of shit. So, you... Well, I suppose you can use the sword as well. Nah, use the bow. Use the bow. It's a lot better. Uh, we're not going to be doing Callie after this, actually. Uh, after she tried to kill us. But that should be that. So you should now get the chosen bard, the bard, and old... Oldie school bard. That is for finishing the game on easy, normal, and old school mode. And that now should... Be that so pff, congratulations guys and gals on another cheeky and beautiful 1000 out of 1000 this was a very enjoyable game even though we done it the console command way but who the hell cares so yeah that is that then guys and gals thank you so so much for watching again if this video did help don't forget of course to like comment and subscribe I hope you had a good laugh as much as I did as we always do during these videos, do we not? Do we not? I think we do. And if you don't, then... Yeah, I'm sorry, you guys. Anyway, don't forget to check me out on my socials, of course, as well. You know, your Twitter and Instagram, of course. Always check me out on Patreon as well. I do lots of Patreon-only giveaways and exclusives and things. So check me out on everything. Links are provided in the description below. Big shout-out to TimG84 for the brilliantly fantastic continued support on this channel on patreon so thank you so much there tim but that is that thing guys and gals thanks so much for watching again i see you in the next one biggest old love under the weight of such trials most men would emerge changed some for the better and some for the worse but for the bard things ended the same way they began well my friend back in business.